again and welcome back to MCET Fox's Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Scania K310UB Volvo and CR 22 AL. This bus specifically is a triaxle X Metro bus. Today we'll be getting it on Route 396 and yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you. So yeah, this is a very unusual bus, especially for STA. Usually Hilt's bus you, has these, and I feel pretty lucky riding this on a STA route. I will say one thing, the engine is pretty unique compared to- I have a theory buses. there's actually two of them in well, Sydney STA with this livery, because if you look and back on the other well, video, this one actually sounds completely the, different to the other one. Final. Look, listen to this. Also, I have a theory that, well, actually, I don't really have a theory, but I'm just wondering why when I got the 390X, it was 2108 ST, why does it sound different to this one's engine? But it's eh? the exact same bus. What? They can't have just changed the engine. That looks really weird. Also, the lights are kind of slanting, which has been strange. But, you know, they strangely chose to do that. But, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. Fun fact, this was actually one of the oh first... Oh, God, what happened to God, these? Rust. They've rusted out very but, badly. Uh, anyway, fun God. fact, this was actually one of the first... No, it was the first bus ever on M10 and it used to be in the Metro bus livery and personally I didn't know that until that person sent me the article thank you very much to them and that actually helped me a lot because I had no idea this used to be in the Metro bus livery especially didn't, I especially didn't know that this was the first one on M10 specifically the first route ever of the M10 that this one used was actually at 7.38, specifically 38 a.m. on, I think, either a Wednesday or a Saturday. This actually used to be a Mo bus, but later in 2010 was changed to an ST. What I will say is the rattling or the suspension on this one is not the best, and I find it a little bit hard on the 390X, especially with those old streets. And funny thing is, you usually see this one on 390X and 396. But actually, this one can also be found on using the 394X. But it's not that common to be using that route, but it does. Also, another thing I really like about Volgrim is how they put buttons on the side. It helps a lot if you can't reach the buttons on the top or you have to get off pretty quickly and you can't reach it or you have bags because I've experienced that before. I really like how they've got buttons. Most Volgrins are like that except for the B7 RLEs. For some reason they don't. But it, this is a pretty cool bus and I'm, happy to, and I'm glad to get it. There's only one in Sydney like this and Specifically, the only route that this one actually runs is 390X, 394X, and 396. Usually, it's found on the 396. 390X, it would usually be found on the 390X at night, and during the day, morning peak, and during the day, and a little bit of afternoon peak, you will see it on the 396. Very, very rarely you'll see this at late at night on 394X. That's a pretty rare thing to see. Um, this, or specifically 2108 ST, has had, has strange fabric and it's got this weird thing poking out of the fabric, must have needed replacement. I find it got really strange fabric. And I've noticed that, well, of course it's longer, but I wonder why it doesn't do more routes than that. As in, is there something stopping it from going on other routes? Because I've noticed that this 
one. Oh, look, STAC. Anyway, I've noticed that it only goes on three routes, and those three routes usually have a bendy or an arctic bus guided by it. As in, when this one's in service, it always has either a bendy bus behind this one on the route, like three minutes away behind it, or three minutes in front of it. And that's a very strange pattern, because I've noticed that on every route this one does, there's always an articulated bus three minutes behind or in front. And it's and it's always an articulated. It, it, it's very rare to be a normal one. By the way, you see that, you know, stopping light? Yeah, if you were by Hills Bus, you'd know that's what they do to Volga and Seattle to 8 Ls, or well, specifically K310 UVs. And don't worry, there's not a problem that the driver can't see it, because once you press the stop button, there should be a little feature, or a little light that appears on the side of, I think, the steering wheel and it should light up and the driver should see it. Sometimes the driver should probably just hear it as well. At the front, the fabric again looks different and well, um, it does give you a huge vibe of being on a Volvo B12 BLEA and it's got a, a lot of standing area which isn't too common amongst city buses anymore. And, well, the cameras don't seem to be working on the little telly, but, you know, here it is, that happens. 2108ST is probably one of the most unique buses taken to State Transit Authority, because you might have thought you might have seen, you might have seen um, the Volvo B12 BLE, Volvo and CR228Ls, but those ones aren't, don't exact, oh, well actually they look similar on the ex exterior, but pretty different on the interior. Whereas the interior on this one has, um, I guess you could say more squarish windows, while the Volvo B12 BLEs had ra more round windows, you know? Plus, they didn't have triaxle wheels. The engine sounded different and the interior was different. So, before I get off at Martin Place, I just probably, well, I just wanted to show the engine or what this bus sounds like, as it's pretty empty now. It's also got a single leaf rear door which well I I don't know if I should like that or not because you know. but let's just listen to the engine for now Funny thing is, this one actually sounds like a Scania K2 UV Bus Tech VST more than an actual Scania K310 UV Volvo and Seattle to it L, which I find really unusual that one bus can have two different sounding, I guess you could say, engines. Because if you see the 390X video, it sounds different. Microwave Popcorn even commented about how it sounds like a Hills bus. Oh, scan. This one doesn't. And I'm, I really want to find out why this one being 2108ST and the other one being 2108ST should sound completely different. But 
we're about to arrive at our destination, so I thought maybe just leave this recording without talking. And strange button. This is kind of hard to press, but you know. there's also graffiti on the seats. But once the light turns green, no more talking. Jesus, that suspensions were terrible. God, that bus was rattling so much. I did not enjoy that. Anyway, let's get off this. I don't know because uh, was it wasn't the most pleasant ride. Fun fact: there was that the Mercedes 0500 LE custom coach CV80 was actually right behind this bus, and. Can I show you something? Look at this. Remember how I told you it was in the Metro bus livery and right now it's in the Tran State Transit Authority livery? Look at that little corner. Why does it look like it was in the Transport for New South Wales livery? Was it? And I wonder why they changed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. This is quite a rare sight.